So with all the talk about lighting recently, let's get into what lights this tank. So a while ago I changed from my black box LED lights to a fixture that I've been watching and looking at for some time. It's the Ocean Revive Arctic T247. And in this episode we're going to check it out, see, see what it does, see how it works, and also see what the specs are and give it a review. So let's get to the video. Before getting into the review at the tank, uh, basically this is the area where the specs are going to be. The uh, Arctic T247 is a great light. It started out as a light for all the hobbies, but it found a home within our community because it's a great light to grow SPS, LPS, and uh, softies with. Right here, you see in the specifics uh, um, of the light itself. The um, Since my tank is a 90 gallon, I use two of these fixtures over my tank, and they are more than capable of growing um, my coral. I have mine about 12 inches off the tank, and I can even move that to 16 inches. As you can see by the full spectrum layout, it was designed by fellow reefers with reefing in mind. It was also designed to create a natural looking light that will reflect the vivid colors of your corals and fish. Um, the 90 degree optics help the light penetrate the depth it's, that it's required to penetrate. When it comes out of the box, it does come with these legs. So you can set it up on top of your tank using the pedestals, or you can set it um, in another way using this hanging kit to hang it from the ceiling, uh, which is the exact way that I do it. And it also comes with um, this little user's manual. Not, not a really a big deal, but it helps out with some of the details. The thing that makes this impressive is it's got one uh, plug so it's one plug for both channels, which uh, its silhouette is really nice. Uh, also, it comes with this remote. And let's go to the tank now, and I'm going to give you some more information of what I exactly use it for. So when you first open up the kit, you'll get one of these in each light fixture. Basically what it is, a little handheld remote um, that will allow you to do pretty much anything on the light. I found, though, what I like doing with it is I'll set my clocks to it. But for the actual physical intensity, I will do that at the controller itself right here. Okay, now to show you how that works, basically it's set to the time and there's a little knob you can see right here. One push will show you the, the channel that it's on. Right here, when you're at this setting, it basically is a chance where you will um, set up your channels and their timers. So when you're on that, if you turn it, you'll see channel one on, channel one off, channel two on, and channel two off. And then once you're on each one, you can go in and actually set the clock to when you want it to turn off and on. You can also, one more click will show you the clock feature. And again, by turning the knob, you'll be able to adjust the timing in it. Now, when you're on this setting, if you push it in, it'll actually go to the channel itself. And by turning this, you can see the intensity. Right now, this is my blue channel. I have it set to 100%. And by turning it different ways, you can set it back 98 or at the 100 that I run it at. When you first get the unit and set it up above your tank, I recommend that you start at a lower percentage to allow your corals to acclimate to the new LEDs. Also, you'll notice that right here is channel two. Currently, for filming purposes, I have it set to four, but what I'll do is I'll raise this up to 25 or 30 because that's what I found is my sweet spot. The light fixture itself is about 12 inches off the water, and with 100% blues and 25 to 30% of the whites, I found that that, for my system anyway, 
is the sweet spot where my corals do the best. Also, you'll take notice that each fixture will come with a hanging kit. I have mine hung from the uh, ceiling and it allows me to set each light fixture uh, at the different levels by doing basically right here through this grommet if you push the top part down and loosen this screw right here you'll be able to raise and lower the fixture and then just tighten it up it'll lock it in and also if you see right here this little tip as long as that's up it's locked um, also what you can do is if it's tilted one way or the other by turning this set screw you allow, you allow yourself to uh, basically move it along this wire and change how the light fixture is tilted to you know make it level above your tank my impression of the LED so far is really really good compared to what I was running over it basically what I was running was the black box Chinese LEDs and to my surprise uh, as much as I didn't like the fact that well might as well get to a negative that I have about the light first you can't ramp up and down the lights you could set percentages of what the lights gonna be do throughout the day but it's not ramping up and down it's set at one one percentage I run my lights at hundred percent blues but it doesn't give me the opportunity to ramp it from zero through 100 and also set a moonlight phase. That was something that the black boxes did allow me to do, but I got over it and figured if I wanted a moonlight phase, I would just go out and buy basically a moonlight kit and run that above the tank. That's the really the only con I have about it because uh, as far as everything else and the, how the corals reacted to it and how they colored up, um, there's been nothing but happiness when in that topic um, I do like the way my tank looks and I do like the fact that since the lights have gone on the system it has really colored up and started my corals growing so now as far as the price points um, while they are a little bit more costly than the black boxes are uh, I think they're well worth the money. Um, they're at a position where they are more expensive than the Chinese, but uh, they are a lot less expensive than some of the higher end fixtures. Do you give away some benefits of the higher end lights? Well, of course you do. You don't have the ramp up, you don't have the programmability, they're not Wi Fi capable. But for um, someone who's on a budget, and would like something that'll grow the coral in his tank and also um, be able to grow a wide variety of coral. There's really nothing more than you could ask for than what the Ocean Revives give you. So pretty much that's the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you are a first time uh, visitor to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell so this way you'll get um, the latest updates and uh, videos as they come out. So until next time, this is Scott and I'll see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.